So now that we are familiar with Tor and how to actually access sites on the dark web and how to register for marketplaces, I thought it would be useful to go through some of the most popular sites on the dark web and what you could actually use them for or what they're even good for. This is as of April 2016, so of course these websites, some of them may be down, some of them may change, a lot of things can happen. So be sure to stay up to date with the best websites and all of that through going through the deep web process and you can find stuff like that on darkwebacademy.com. But let's hop back over to the Tor browser so we can show you some of the most popular sites on the dark web. So back over on the Tor browser here, of course, we have the first site pulled up that is one of the most popular and that is Alpha Bay Marketplace. Now these first few we'll go through are actually just simply marketplaces. Obviously you have Alpha Bay, which can be found at this link right here. You have Val Valhalla, which can be found at this link up here. You have the Dream Market, which can be found here. The Hansa, which we actually used earlier, can be found here. The Outlaw Market, which is a uh, one we haven't really used, but it, it can be found here. And, <clears throat> and then the Python Market, which can be found at this link right here. You have to press that other link and then log in and all that, which I haven't done yet. But those are really all the marketplaces we like to use that are the most trusted, most secure, and most popular as well. I would say that these six account for probably 80% of all the marketplace traffic out there. They are the big dogs when it comes to the marketplaces, which also means that at the time of recording this, which is April 2016, these results may change. Some of these markets may become more popular. Some of them may actually fall out, get closed or shut down, and others shall take their place. But until then, these are the best that you can find that have the most reliable sources, trusted vendors, and safest shipping, and all the things like that. But instead of just these ones, we have some other things we want to talk about as well. One thing we haven't really gone over is the actual Grams Infodesk or Grams search tool. The Gram search tool is a way to actually find information on the dark web. You can see Grams and then up here is the actual, you can see the actual URL up here to get any of the information you would need. But let's go ahead and go through what this actually means. So we'll open these links another tab because these are things we'll be talking about as well, but we don't need any of the other stuff. So if you wanted to use this, you can see e.g. cannabis, you could literally just search cannabis and search it and it would show you results, uh, the best vendors. Usually all of these search results go through different vendors on different websites and different information, but they try to give you the best vendors first uh, and then you can see other stuff like that. So these are charts that give you information about the marketplaces. I mean, you can see the top rated ones, uh, the ones that have been the longest around, Nucleus, Alpha Bay, Hansa. Uh, we've talked about a few of those, but these are some of the best marketplaces you can find. Any alerts, obviously, about marketplaces you can find on the right-hand side there as well. Um, and that'll actually take you over to Reddit. We don't really need to head there for now. And it'll show you the status of the top marketplaces and if they are up or if they're currently having issues like Acropolis, it most likely is having issues. So this is a very good tool when you need to search for a specific product and you don't want to really go through all those different marketplaces just to find one thing. You can search several places at once and this is a very good tool for everyone to use. Another tool that Grams offers is the Infodesk. The Infodesk is used for actually verifying a vendor's reliability. You can see it'll give you top vendors and if they're trusted, or it'll give you scam vendors so you can check your vendor and see if they are safe. And you can search right here, obviously search for a vendor. You can search by username or by PGP key. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. We'll actually go back over to our Alpha Bay and load it up it'll just take a second here and we may need to log in nope kept us logged in perfect so we can say let's we wanna so say we go to a weapons vendor uh, for some reason you know and then uh, here we go a taser gun um, and it, his username is the corporation so we can actually just go over here uh, throw it in there and obviously you're gonna have to erase all the other stuff here because it actually grabbed the link 
and the corporation and we can try to search to see if we can find any info about the corporation but unfortunately doesn't seem like there's a lot of info obviously no results found so we'll go back over here we'll try a different one the layer cake let's try that one unfortunately when it comes to these weapons these ones don't really have as much information because they aren't selling drugs and because drugs are the most popular thing you're gonna have a hard time when you want to buy other stuff so we can see this one actually returned the layer cake here on alpha bay that's obviously the site we're using so we'll go to their page and see some information about them you can see this is their pgp key the listings they have on alpha bay you can go down no grams reviews specifically no reddit reviews however these are their market reviews so you could read through those it's always best to trust the grams and reddit reviews these ones might not be totally safe these ones are a lot better a lot safer to actually use and view so if you actually sign into the grams tool this is where you could actually leave a review for this vendor so if you did buy something and you liked it or it was horrible and you got scammed be sure to use this tool to leave a review it's a very useful tool that should be used by everybody using the marketplaces so we can get a trusted system in place grams also offers another tool we like to use called the grams tumblers uh, their tumbler is actually called helix and helix helps tumble your bitcoin you can see how does helix work well you enter your bitcoin address <clears throat> you enter your bitcoin address above you send your dirty coins dirty being the ones you bought from say a site that requires you to upload id or something like that they obviously are dirty because they are linked to personal info you would get that tumble them which means just trading them randomly for someone else's bitcoin and now your clean coins are sent to a new wallet uh, this is a really, really good system to use when actually buying things, and we'll go over how to use this a little bit, but we actually teach you how to use Helix in the Bitcoin for the Dark Web course, so you can take that if you're interested, but in the next module, we'll show you how to actually use different things on the Dark Web and how to actually buy products. But let's go ahead and head to another site here. We're actually going to go over here to one of the most popular mail services on the dark web. You can see this is, uh, I'm, I don't even really know how to pronounce this, Sig, Sigaint or something like that. Um, but this is an email service that allows you to send and receive email without revealing your location or identity. This is one of the most popular email services on the dark web. So you can definitely use this to actually get an email and have a safe and secure email address just to use for your dark web things. Another thing we'll go ahead and look at here, <clears throat> if it loads up in just a second, is Mask Rabbit. Mask Rabbit is just kind of an interesting site I thought uh, you might, <laughs> might like to uh, take a look at. So it actually gives you the ability to hire people to do things. So a thief, a spy, a hacker, a saboteur, a goon. I mean, these are just weird things that you can hire people to do. And um, it's a it's a pretty well known site, a pretty well used site, um, and not really a scam as much as you would think. So I would just try to mess with that. I mean, I wouldn't buy anything. Um, and this is where obviously you need an email address. So this would this would be a good time to get a s email address that is actually safe and secure. The last thing we're going to be taking a look at is one more site, and we'll close these other ones for now. Be sure you're uh, pausing it when you need URLs so you can uh, actually take a look at these sites yourself. But this is just called the Onion Crate. And the Onion Crate is just an interesting site, uh, one that's pretty popular around there that gives you uh, actual links to different sites. So be sure to take down this one because you'll see links to other Onion sites. All of these are... Obviously, you can see here this list goes on and on and on. Uh, lots and lots of different links and information you can look up. A lot of these are scams still. Just because it's on the site doesn't mean it's not a scam. So be careful on what you are actually accessing and purchasing or using from this website. But this is one to help get you going on tour and help give you an idea of how to actually do all of these things so be sure to write this down write this onion address so you can keep track of it so you can have something to actually use to get more onion links because that's kind of one of the hardest things when it comes to the dark web is getting onion links but once you do that you should be well on your way to becoming a good tour user and learning how to actually 
find different sites and use it. I mean, there's so many things in here that you can look up and use that you might be interested in. So hopefully you can do that. So that should definitely help you on that path. Of course, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to message me as one of the instructors. I will help out as many students as I can. So be sure to ask me any questions you may have about the dark web or onion links or buying or anything like that. But in the next module, we're actually gonna show you the process of buying a product on the dark web. This wasn't originally added in the first release version of this course, but we've since added it on to give you a good idea of what it takes to actually buy product on the dark web and the steps you need to be really safe when buying illegal products if you ever plan to. However, we won't show you illegal product buying. We're just gonna show you how to buy some random product on the actual Hansa Marketplace we were working with earlier. So be sure you have that Hansa Marketplace login and we're gonna show you the steps you need to actually purchase on the dark web.